ग्लैंड मदरिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ अवर डिस्कशन टूडे इज इंट्रासाइटोप्लाज्मिक स्पर्म इंसेमिनेशन और एक सी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड आई यू आई एंड आई वी एफ एंड यू कैन फाइंड देयर लिंक्स बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द आई बटन इन द टॉप राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ दिस वीडियो वट इज एक सी एक सी और इंट्रासाइटोप्लाज्मिक स्पर्म इंजेक्शन इज एन असिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्टिव टेक्निक विच इन्वॉल्व इंजेक्टिंग लाइफ स्पर्म इन टू अ पर्सन एग इन अ लेबोरेटरी This procedure can create an embryo or fertilized egg. ICSI is a form of in vitro fertilization or IVF. What is the difference between IVF and ICSI? Embryo development when using IVF, sperm from a male partner or donor are added to the eggs to allow them to be fertilized. When using ICSI, the scientist picks up a single sperm and injects it into each egg using microscopic needle. What are the different steps of ICSI procedure? Step number one, stimulation of the ovaries. Step number two, egg retrieval. Step number three, fertilization. Step number four, embryo development. And when embryo is developed outside the body, the step number five is embryo transfer by specific technique. Step number six, the pregnancy test, and if positive. continue antenatal care and follow up the follow up of the patient so the basic idea behind ivf is that eggs are removed from the ovary and fertilized outside the body in a laboratory there are two techniques for fertilizing an egg the older method is called standard insemination with this technique few thousand sperms are placed in laboratory dish near the eggs the sperms have to penetrate the eggs on their own so they must have good motility this method has largely been replaced by icsi icsi stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection or intracytoplasmic sperm insemination with this technique a single sperm is injected into single egg There are a number of reasons why ICSI is preferred over standard insemination. Now the question arises: Why fertilization fails with the standard insemination? First of all, if a man has low sperm count and poor sperm movement, then the chances are higher that fertilization will fail. Sometimes the standard insemination can fail even when the sperm numbers are normal. This is likely due to the specific problem with the sperms not being able to fertilize the eggs on their own. Unfortunately, we are not being able to predict ahead of time which man has sperms that are unable to fertilize an egg. ICSI bypasses those type of problems. The chances of an IVF cycles are failing because of fertilization failure is lot lower with the ICSI than with the standard insemination technique. When an egg is removed from the ovary, it is surrounded by a dense group of cells called cumulus cells. These cells make it difficult to see the eggs under the microscope, and this makes it harder to see whether the egg is mature or not. It's because the immature eggs cannot be fertilized. So when there is poor fertilization, it could be in part due to there being many immature eggs rather than the problems with the sperm itself. So eggs maturity is extremely important. Now, what is the role of ICSI? When we do ICSI, these cumulus cells are stripped away. and this allows us to know with certainty whether the egg is mature and allows more precise evaluation of the egg retrieval so icsi has a great role finally icsi is needed when we are doing genetic testing on an embryo with standard insemination there may be sperms that didn't fertilize the egg still stuck to the outside of the eggs after fertilization this can cause an incorrect result when we are trying to do the genetic testing of an embryo so that is another drawback of standard insemination so icsi is mandatory when we are doing the genetic testing and that was all about icsi thank you so much subscribe on ops and gyne allah hafiz